Hello and welcome to another episode of the Ath Geeks Podcast. I'm your host, Adrian, and welcome to another episode of Weeb Wednesday on a Wednesday. You know how we get down. It's not not on a Wednesday this time. Straight up on a Wednesday. Let's get it. We back. Sorry for missing last week. Um, as you saw, if you listened to the episode um, yesterday, Spell said he, he, he'll he be caught up in Haikyuu here shortly. The reason we didn't have an episode last week for We Wednesday, he was, it was supposed to be, you know, the Haikyuu episode. However, at the same time, um, it was, it was hard for him because it was his daughter's birthday on that Wednesday. So I was like, Hey, his daughter's birthday. He's not going to record that day, obviously. And then he was like, Oh, I'm also need to catch up on it and everything. So he's still trying to catch up. We should have it next week, <laughs> barring anything crazy going on, but we're back. We're better. Um, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I am behind. Like, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to speed run this one, and it's gonna be speed ran because a lot of these, the rest of these animes, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have a chance to watch. And it's not that I didn't have a chance. I chose not to because I was doing something else. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm not gonna lie. So what I've been doing lately, um, first of all, I was rewatching um an anime from the last season, which was Birdie Wings Golf Girl Story. That was the anime from last season. I didn't get around to it, and I finally watched it, and oh, my God, it's so good. I think my sports bias is coming out again, though, because so far I love almost every sports anime. There's no sports anime that can't do any wrong. This was golf, but this was such cool golf, and it's like, because it's it's not because it's not like a high where they have you know in high it's just legit just playing sports. They're doing everything. There's no like super moves. Yes, they can do that quick, but there's no actual super moves. And Kirko's no basket and um things like this as well. There's like they use special moves. Like in Birdie, they're they're using a special move. And like, oh, they say they're special move. And they just makes it so entertaining. And I never thought I'd be interested in golf. And this one is good. And it's not just regular golf. It's um so you have a girl who doesn't know anything about her past. She woke up in the slum. She doesn't remember her. She has no memory. She was adopted by a, some other friends who were also in the slums. Um, they made it out by doing some suspect things, um, whether it be with their bodies or whatever, because they're in the slums. They, they're they very poor. There's three women, very poor. They had to make their way out one way or another. This um, person, when she was a kid, she was found, I think it was like 10 or 12-ish and they found her and like well well there's this guy he found her and he was like oh i want to teach her how to play golf and they're like why do you want to play teach her how to play and she wanted to teach him how to play golf so she no i mean he wanted to teach her so he started out of just because he's like i see talent he's like you look strong and everything so he started teaching her he's like she shows promise and so he started teaching her to golf but then she started making money with golf not because she was going to school making money with it but because she was doing things such as like she was gambling she was gambling with golf like they they'd play a hole of golf she'd accept gambles of upstairs amount of money we you know rich people just wanted to golf they golf and like bet money and then she was making money and that's how she was making a living and then it started getting darker with like the mafia ties and everything and like some people that were betting stuff and they were like betting things through the mafia and she also just she was just get she was just doing that and that was just her life eventually she met like one of the a new promising golfer, you know, she has to have her rival. She met a new promising golfer. The new promising golfer um, was like a rich kid, you know, trust fund baby, like prodigy that was just meant to be meant to be like a, a golf legend and everything. Her parents were both very good golfers and like all time great golfers. And they were training her from her birth to be a golfer. And she meets her and then they golf around and they, she just falls in love. They fall in love with each other, like one each other's golf. And they're like, oh, my God. And she's like, I've never heard of you before. I want you to golf and everything. And the girl's like, it basically, like, she saves her from that little mafia thing. She she goes away from the mafia thing. She starts golfing at an actual school. And that's where we are now. That's where we are now um, at the end of season one. Um, season two should should kick into where they're at, what they actually do at the school. We didn't really get into that in season one. We just got into like the backstory before she got over there why everything happened and everything like that and this was a good one this is very it was very good i i enjoyed it um i'm gonna give it a b plus it was it was very good that's an old one so that's what i've been doing one i was watching that one and two i've been reading classroom of the elite um the light novel has just encaptured me for my longtime listeners y'all know last year 
something similar happened when I started reading the beginning, not the beginning, um, that time I got reincarnated as a slime when I was reading that light novel, man, that engulfed me to where I was like, that was that and a couple well, along with beginning at the end and a couple other ones. That's why like some of these weeb wins, they fell off and all these other things in the past, because I stopped watching the anime. I was reading all the time. Like when I tell y'all I haven't watched an anime or even played my game. Like I haven't even logged onto my PlayStation or my PC to play games or do anything else because I've been reading. I literally get home from work and start reading. Obviously, I'm playing with my daughter, everything like that, family time. But while I'm doing that, I'm reading. When I'm finished with that, I'm reading. I go to bed. I, when I'm getting ready for bed, I'm reading the whole time. Now I go to bed. Wake up in the morning, I'm reading. Then I go to work. And any free time in the work, I pull out and start reading on my Kindle. And I'm just reading all the time because I've just been reading. That, that's, that's when I get engulfed in something like that, I can't stop. And so I've just been obsessed with it. So I've been doing anything else. And that's why these Weep Wednesdays also have been falling behind but um so the classroom elite oh my god if you haven't read that light novel is very much worth it it is it, it, very much worth it maybe one of these days i'll give you an actual review on the light novel once i'm fully caught up but let's get into the rest of the anime so we have overlord i haven't i'm i'm too i haven't caught up on these last two weeks these last two weeks and overlord is also on my list for the next light novel i want to read as well but these last two weeks I've missed ever since Ains they had the little thing with the dragons. I haven't watched the two episodes after that. However, Overlord season four S tier anime. It is amazing. It's godly. I mean, there's not much I really have to explain because uh, even if you're a new anime watcher, you you've either you've probably heard of Overlord. And if you haven't, um, we're in season four. So the 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 people that have um loved overlord and everything y'all know this is amazing y'all know it's still good y'all know everything that's still going on and for my new viewers um if you like it, it's an east sky anime if you like but it's like a dungeons and dragons style east sky it, it, it has if it, it, it carries a lot of dungeons and dragons and i say that because huh, i've been i've I actually got into it i got into um dungeons and dragons usually what i do um i usually go to the gym and hoop but one of my co-workers invited me to go play Dungeons and Dragons. I was like, mm. and then go to the gym. And I'm like, man, I can go, I can go hoop. I, I went hoop today. But I'm like, I started hooping during the week instead of going on the weekends. And on the weekends now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I tried the Dungeons and Dragons. I'm three, I'm three, um, what's called three weekends in. And I've been loving it. It's actually been very fun. And then me already watching Overlord, I'm like, oh. This is very similar to Overlord. They were like, yeah, it has some Dungeon Dragon aspects. And I'm like, yeah, this is cool. I like this. I rock with this. I I, I rock with it. I see why Ains, uh loves the game. I see why everything going like that. It's a, it's, a, it's very fun. If you haven't tried um, D&D, hey, try it. Like I said, this athletes and geeks collide. So I'm starting to learn a lot. I'm still trying to, I'm still, my geekdom still coming out. My geekdom still changing up. Don't get it twisted though. We still be, we still got the athlete side. We talk the sports. We talk the, uh, we still be going out there. We still going up to 24 hour fitness and everything, hooping LA, everything like that. Or just on base because I still work on base, just working out, hooping anytime. But we also going to get into that DD, get into that anime. And that's why we the ath geeks. But um, yeah, that one, that, that one's S tier anime. Very good. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Um, Next is High School of the Elite S tier anime. Y'all know. Obviously, I'm going to give it an S tier because I've started reading the light novel. And now I've kind of forgotten where the anime is. I think they're still at the sports part. They just finished the sports um, little arc. And they're moving into the arc after that. Uh, it's about to get interesting. It's about to get interesting. I don't know if they're going to finish out this season with how some of the things I've seen in the light novel so far. But season three is going to get very interesting when they have that season three so definitely if you haven't checked it out yet um try to catch up or just wait for season three and then just binge watch all together because season three is going to be season three is going to be amazing i can promise you that season three gets it gets not spoiler warning right here so i'm gonna give you a 10 9 ah yeah i got enough time all right spoiler warning he starts he started people start knowing finding out more about him people start knowing more about him his dad pulls up. He actually, you actually see his father and everything. You see his dark side. You see, you start seeing his. You already see his genes, but you start seeing his physical build. 
he starts he starts getting in more fights. He starts being more things like that. But still behind the scenes, but he starts doing a lot more because he's trying to hide his identity while still allowing certain people to know his identity, know what he's about. It's very interesting, and it's it, it's, it's, it's a it's a it's a psychological one for a reason. S tier anime, amazing. I'm telling y'all. It's, it's definitely worth it. Call of the Night is next. Um, I know I haven't been clicking around. Y'all just been seeing the same thing. Call of the Night is next. And that's going to be the first one we actually click on. Because those other ones, there was no really reason to click on. Because those are old ones that you've already seen before. Um, I mean, these are old ones that are returning and everything. And then one that wasn't even a part of it. So Call of the Night, this one, you see it's at 8.05. I gave it a B-. minus. This was actually, it was pretty, it was pretty... It was pretty interesting. I'm not going to lie. Um, you can see the romance aspect. You see it's a romance shown in Supernatural Vampire. Um, I'm using not big on vampires. So the main thing is, so you have this guy right here. And he doesn't, at first, he doesn't want to become a vampire. So um, the the thing is, you can't become a vampire. Um, like Let's say they, they, they take away the mist. Like, so if she bites, like she's the vampire, the female. If she bites him, he doesn't turn into a vampire just because she sucks his blood. She's like, that's not a thing. She said, the way you become a vampire and become like the subordinates and basically quote unquote the children or anything like that, where like you're you're a part of their family because they you turn they turned you into a vampire. The only way that happens is if you truly love the vampire. So you can't just become a vampire in again like just against your will you can't become a vampire against your will so if people attack a vampire attacks you they can't turn into a vampire against your will which is very it's very interesting it's very interesting so his whole thing is he's following that vampire around because he wants to become a vampire but he's like i'm gonna keep staying around and i'm gonna i'm gonna make you fall in love with me and i'm gonna fall in love with you and so it's just kind of like that they start hanging out the vampire has been around for thousands of years and she has no family because she's never turned anybody into a vampire she's very lonely she just sucks people's blood and move on and he's like he gets jealous when she sucks other people's blood she's like no you should be only sucking my blood and then so they start building their relationship and everything else and he's trying to make her fall in love with him he's trying to fall in love with her so that he can become a vampire one day and that's what i saw i only watch um what's called i only watched the first uh three episodes and that's what i got from the first three episodes i didn't pursue past that also, because as I explained earlier, I started getting distracted with other things, but only did three of these episodes. This episode, like I said, I give it a B minus. It was it was pretty interesting. I actually might go back and finish watching this one. I just didn't have time this season. Kind of like what I did with Birdie um, Wing and I went back and watched it. And I'll probably be doing the time like that. Um, uh, I've mentioned it before, but I got a, I got a kid on the way doing like November. So obviously the recordings might be a little sporadic then, but we're still going to be bringing the recordings, but I'm also, because I'm going to be on paternity, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take time off obviously for my kid. It, um, when I be on that night shift, I'm gonna have plenty of time to watch anime. So I'll probably catch up on some things and give y'all some of these reviews that I missed in the past. Um, is it time to, is it wrong to pick up a girl in the dungeon? I didn't get the catch up on this one. Yeah, I'm I'm like three or four episodes in. I love this one. I love this one. I'm I've I've watched every other season. It's amazing. Um, I know it's like mixed reviews because some people love it, some people don't. I love the whole Greek mythology and everything because I've never been really interested until I watched this. And I was like, oh, this is cool. I'm very interested in it. And I want to kind of see how everything goes with this. I want, I want, I want to see how everything, how much their familiar grows, how much he grows. I want to see like what his actual like story is. Cause it looks like Zeus is his grandfather. So he's obviously like super OC, but we don't, we just haven't seen it all yet. So I want, I'm, I'm interested in that. I don't really have much to say about this one because um, again, like this one, like Clash and Lee and Overlord and all the other ones that has continued on. So um, this one, this one, I'll give an A tier. I'm not going to give it S tier, it's A tier, but it's still very, very, very amazing. Um, next one I want to speak on is Vermil and Go. Um, this one's interesting. This one, this one follows the whole harem etchy um, thing of the season because we've had a lot of edgies. This so this lady right here, this purple one, she's a she's a succubus. She's a she's a succubus, and 
it's pretty it's pretty crazy she's a she's i'm pretty sure i already talked about this one though i i, I remember actually i did talk about this why am i bringing this one i got i got confused yeah i already talked about that one. yeah the, the sucky bus and he summoned her by accident so yeah i don't i don't need to rekindle that one I already, I already talked about it. i don't know why i got mixed up the, the one i meant to go bit was this one the maid i hired is re, is recently is mysterious so i only watched two episodes of them i wasn't really vibing with this one it was it was confusing I think I wasn't vibing as much because it's a little kid living by himself and this older, like, teenage maid taking care of him. I probably would have vibed more with it if they were, like, similar to the same age. So, the, like, some of the jokes, like, how she's like, oh, yeah, like how he thinks he's, he's in love with him or she thinks there's something wrong with him, thinks there's something like that. Like, some of those comedic aspects like that where, like, they hint at a relationship or he calls her beautiful and she blushes and stuff like that. I would have hinted that. I would like to more, like, if they were close to the same age because then a, a romantic relationship could actually ensue like when i see like a eight nine year old and like a 15 16 17 year old like doing like that for me i mean it's, it's not even anything like a whole like oh like whatever it's just like uh, it just doesn't interest me because i like y'all know i love rom romance and rom-coms so i'm like that no romance is actually gonna build through that yeah it has some comedic aspects because obviously like they have the jokes they have the little like i said the blushes stuff like that and they're they're building their bond slowly, slowly more and more. And it was an interesting one. It was it was it it had comedic aspects, but it just wasn't comedy meant for me. Uh, it has a seven point five for a reason. So some people found it funny, and I'm 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 sure everybody because not everybody like I said before. Like just because I like an anime doesn't mean you're gonna like it. Just because you like it doesn't mean I like it. And that's why we all have our opinions. But it's just not for me. But so, so I give this one um, a C plus. It's not really for me, but yeah, it was still like I said, it was okay. It was okay. Nothing, uh, nothing. It wasn't great. wasn't like wasn't good. wasn't bad. It was just okay. Um, next one, the next one I wanted to go into, I didn't actually get into. I didn't actually get to watch this one. This was next on my list. This is one I told y'all at the beginning I was excited for and I wanted to get into, but I didn't have time. So we're gonna have to get back into that one on another time. All the rest of these we've 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 already covered. We still gotta come back to Will Ayumu uh, make his move. There's plenty of other ones we still gotta come back. We still got plenty of time left in this season. So right now, that's all we're gonna talk about for today. Like I said, I told y'all it was gonna be a short episode, but as we always say here on the Athkeys podcast, always, always, always remember to respect women. But most importantly, remember to respect yourself. Cause simping ain't pimping. And we out. Yeah, I